everybody, this is Dr. Michael Shear. I just wanted to go ahead and demonstrate how easy it is to remove support structures from a complicated 3D print, like 3D printing this denture. Uh, what I've done here is, is I've duplicated this denture for the purposes of a, um, a, um, a laboratory exercise to teach dentists how to pick up a locator or a locator overdenture type of uh, attachment system. So what I'm showing you here is this is a denture and I wanted to go ahead and fit this little model that we have right here. This is our model. It's got four of our locator abutments and I want to make it look just like this right here. As you can see it fits on this white model very nicely. Now when I design my supports effectively I've got my supports designed so that way it's in the least amount of uh, impact area. So nothing on the intaglio or the supporting structure but you do have to put a couple right in this area uh, just on that overhanging area. So as I take my supports and I just kind of push in the right direction you'll notice that it, with the right amount of pressure it pulls apart super clean super easy. And then I can just take that and put it directly on top of my model just like so. So I'll show you how easy this is to do. I'll be able to, to separate approximately seven of these in just a matter of a few seconds just by pulling the right direction. I can come in here, pop it on. There you go, super strong, super easy. The key is to make sure you know that you can push from the soft delicate part and then you're gonna undermine the support structures And I've just cleaned off the supports on eight models that you see right here. And what I do is I just take the, some of this material, just kind of pull it off here to the side, and then this just goes right here in the trash. And then we can go ahead and see I've got my models here ready for uh, our hands-on demonstration. And you can see here that, you know, it's pretty easy to move support structures from laser SLA type prints, you know, like here on the Form 2 3D printer. Hope you've enjoyed this video.